Alright, welcome back to Pwn TV, ladies and gentlemen. Today I'm going to make a real quick video on how to actually do Azure ailments. This is a, uh, this is an assault, a rank 9 assault, in a particular area, and this particular area is very, very annoying. I cannot beat this. I've tried so many times in so many different ways, and then finally I decided he said he was going uh, to switch to Scholar, that's the person in my party, and I said, okay, well, if you're switching to Scholar, I'm going to switch to Paladin. I'm just going to switch to Paladin, and I'm going to pull the zone, and we're going to try it that way. But it's going to be really tricky, because, like, I've tried this assault, I mean, obviously I've won the assault before, but in the last couple of days, I've failed the assault a dozen times in a row. Like, a dozen times in a row I've failed this assault, and I cannot for the life of me figure out what the hell is the problem. It's like every time they do the correct spell, even while we're not wearing any gear, we evade the attack. If we're item level 119, or if we're unlocked, no level cap, level 99, we just evade the attacks, and it doesn't count. If we go level cap, then we can barely pull more than one or two mobs a piece before we get over, uh, over, overrun, basically, by all the mobs. So, what do? Well, I feel like this is a pretty solid way to low man this assault, Azure Elements. So let's actually see if it works out for us. So in the past, level 50 cap, I went and did this with Red Mage, subbing Ninja, subbing Dancer, I did it with, um, what else did I do? I think I went one, one with Black Mage, I think I took Dark Knight once, and what else? Beastmaster, Summoner, and I feel like I also took one more job for the level 50 cap. Bard, I did a lot of Bard, okay, and I think I went Thief but I don't know if it was level 50 or level 60 or 70 cap. Anyway, I did all of the various level difficulty caps for this zone, and I brought all those jobs I mentioned for all of these runs, and I'd failed. Um, I've, I've at least failed a dozen times in the last 24 hours. I gave up, and I'm back at it, and I failed just now. I think I, I went in, that was the second time this, this run that I've failed. But I have, I have a solution. I have a foolproof, uh, uncapped version solution to this, uh, to this assault, this uncapped assault. So I'm gonna get an armlet or whatever the fuck it's called. Command verification. Yes, an armband. That's right. It somehow works with this portal. Let's get in there. All right, Azure Elements, no level cap. I've tried all of the level caps. No, <laughs> no, no, no. What a waste of time. Let me tell you what happens when you do the level caps, okay? Within the time limit of 30 minutes, you're, or whatever the time, I think it is 30 minutes. What, what, what you do is you fight one-on-one -on -one against something while you're sleeping the other target. So you're not even having multiple mobs try to weapon skill you. Okay, so that right there is a nerf to your time limit. Um, and then you just wait for the random number generator. And then it generates a weapon skill. Mm, it's not the right one. It's never the right one! It's never the right one! So, no level cap, alright? No level cap. That's the way to go. Unless you bring, like, three or four people... I feel like this is the way to go. You need three debuffs to win this thing. You need three spells to land on your ass to win this thing. So this guy, you turn in the spells. Okay, yep, great, great. So all of those different uh, enfeebling spells exist in this zone, and I can get any one of them on my guy. But I had luck with the raptors just now, so let's go do raptors. I believe the raptors are on the east side, though. So here's the plan. I'm gonna pull the monsters with my regular damage taken minus shit that I have on, right? That's the plan. I'm gonna do that. I'm not sure why my defending ring is not on, but... I was just in town, so that's probably why. Okay, so I'm gonna pull this a uh, couple of raptors, probably three raptors. And I'm gonna go up there and pull some uh, cocoons as well. 
This is a pretty good layout, actually, because I cannot link all the raptors in the zone. I think I have three raptors on me. I got a Mamulja on me. Not a problem. These guys don't aggro, so I have to flash one and then link the other two. I will pull all three, because they don't like to do kibosh very often, and it often misses. Okay, so I'm going to come back down here. What do we have on us so far? Okay. Those Mamuljas gotta go immediately. You don't you don't dick around with the Mamuljas. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull one more pitland worm. There we go. I'm gonna come out here to the entrance. And I think he's gonna sleep them all right here. Sleep go please. Sleep them all right here. I'll go pull a couple different species that do other debuffs. Cause I'm ready to get this shit done, dude. I broke out the paladin. This shit's done. Don't diaga. That's not sleep cut. Oh my god. Okay. All right. All right. Mioso Naso is still processing. All right. So I'm just gonna kill this stuff first. These two Mamuljas, while the other ones just do whatever they want to do. And they're probably gonna miss because I have all of my gear on. But you don't take your gear off until you're ready to actually farm the spells and I'll tell you a, a really good way to do that let me sentinel and rampart just in case that way I don't lose hate since I'm paladin I might as well all right so I'm going to kill probably this uh, let's savage blade I think that's the best way to one shot so I'll one shot this one hopefully Yep, he's dead. 12k damage is a lot of damage. Nice, with a bird gang. Pretty good. Alright, so now the two Mamuljas are dead. Okay. So now what? So now what do? Well, now what we have to do is farm these random, sp uh, random enfeebles. And the best way to do that is to not have any evasion gear on, first. And second... Just basically don't have any resist anything on. Like anything that says resist status ailment, no. You don't put staunch tathlum on for this, for example. Alright, because this is just not going to work for you. So you're going to make sure Lua unload uh, gear swap. You got to make sure that's not on. Okay? And then you're going to come over here and you're going to find an equip set that you made previously that literally looks like this. This is what I recommend everyone make for an equip set. You simply go to all of the little slots and you say remove piece and it puts an X on it and you save that set. You save that set, right? Okay, so every time I want to take my gear off to do any content, I just do this. I equip it and it's as simple as that. And so that happens. And so I literally only have a sword and a shield on. Okay, well we can build from there. I mean, I could have custom made that equip set to do this particular content but I just like the the blanket one that I showed you all right so what what, what kind of gear can we get away with having well I would say some sort of multi-hit gear and we probably want a level one weapon all right because we don't want to kill stuff immediately so let's put on uh, let's put on Cziku's blade sounds fun all right so this is a level 1 weapon. I think it's got decent DPS for a level 1 weapon in comparison to other level 1 choices. So I can actually get my DPS on. So that's good. Other pieces of gear I think we could have on is anything with multi-hit. So flanked grip is pretty good. Right? Double attack plus 1. Solid. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and find Asperity Necklace. That's solid. Don't put anything with um, Subtle Blow on it though. Because a lot of multi-hit has subtle blow as well. Make sure you avoid subtle blow gear. This one looks good. And then obviously the other one is going to be... Brutal Earring. Because you do have, for some jobs, you do have this other earring. But it has... It has the same amount of double attack that Brutal Earring has as far as I understand. Which is 5. Which is all you care about. That subtle blow 5 is, is killing you though, so... So I don't think you should use this for this content. So Brutal Earring. For rings, I mean, I have a couple of favorite rings. One of them is Hitairoi, solid for multi-hit. And the other one is 
Petrov ring, which also has enmity on it. By the way, if you lose enmity, you could always switch your necklace to unmoving. Uh, or there's another one, moonbeam. But magic evasion is kind of not good here. So unmoving would be what I would pick if I lost enmity. If I was having trouble holding hate off of my scholar, for example, if I did indeed go again with just a scholar, I would make sure to have that on hand. Alright, what else can I do for belts? I think there's a pretty solid, yeah, double attack, triple attack, but it has subtle blow on it, guys. So I can't do this one, but I can do Kentark. That's a solid choice. So we'll do Kentark then. And that's probably good enough. You might be able to find a, a decent cape that doesn't have any bullshit on it. Let's see. I mean, the Zambuscade cape doesn't have any evasion on it, technically, so... I could do that. Not the occasional resist status elements, though. No, I don't see any good Ambuscade capes. So let's just put Moonbeam on, then. Solid choice. Actually, I take I take it back with this uh, polearm. I don't feel like this is um, doing enough damage fast enough. So let me actually put on a dagger instead. And I'm not dual wielding, so I, I'll definitely still have to wear a shield. Let me see if I can get a decent shield. Magic evasion is not good. Uh, magic damage minus is okay. I mean, I guess that one's better. Don't want any magic evasion, though. Don't want any evasion of any kind. Don't want to resist any status ailments. I want all the things, okay? I want all the things to just, like, always land on my character. And the best way to do that is, I think, like this. Honestly. Something like that. Um, you could probably put an ammo on that doesn't have anything that will fuck you over. Like, I think Ginson's probably one of the better ones, but it, you don't really need the attack here. Definitely don't use Staunch Tathlon, though. Or, or a Mark there. That's not gonna work. So I guess Ginson's still kind of the best one. The attack isn't really gonna do much with a level one weapon. So, we should be okay. 527 attack is kind of like level 75 so I mean I think at level 75 with good gear I, I was able to push 800 something if I remember correctly but 500 is a good number for the zone to not melt everything which you w otherwise would melt everything it looks like they're still missing quite a bit so it might just be because I brought Paladin Warrior. I brought Red Mage Ninja earlier. Ninja of all subjobs. I brought Red Mage Ninja and I was getting hit quite a bit. Uh, it, feel, it feels to me like uh, I'm not getting hit as much now. And I wonder if blocking for zero is actually not giving them TP. So let's just, uh, let's just go ham, right? Let's just go ham and take the shield off. I think I've got a decent amount of multi-hit, but I'm not really getting in there too much. I did sub-warrior, so like my, my double tag's going to actually be a thing. I don't think I should use phalanx. Yep, I think, I think this is probably good. Maybe protect 5, though, so I take less damage. God, this is going to take forever, you guys. Okay, there's Ripper Fang. That's not what we wanted. Let me try a different weapon. With Red Mage, I was able to use Cyclone to actually get everybody's uh, life down. Let's actually use this 119 staff for a minute. I'll start bashing on things. Yeah, look at that. Chunking, chunking HP off of people. Yeah, it doesn't have any evasion on it. That's good. The lower I get their HP, the more often they will weapon skill by design. So that's the idea here. Obviously an area of effect weapon skill would be ideal, but... I mean... The dagger I chose to use at the start didn't have it, because I... I guess, because I'm not subbing Red Mage. I think Red Mage is what gave me the Cyclone ability on the dagger when I had Red Mage Ninja. I don't think Sub Ninja gave me Cyclone. 
Cyclone's actually an elemental weapon skill. It's most likely a red mage uh, unlockable weapon skill. It was solid though. It literally did just enough damage to get everybody down to 10%. And I was very excited about that. But the problem with bringing red mage though, you guys, is I could not hold heat. Um, so the blue mage that was in my party was taking a lot of hate. And he was moving around to the point where I, I really couldn't... I really couldn't keep the mobs focusing on me. And I looked over and he had um, some body armor on that obviously had evasion on it. And I saw the mob do kibosh on him and miss. And I was salty. So I was like, let's do this instead. This way, this way I don't... Oh, I almost killed that guy. I'm glad I turned fast enough. This way I don't actually uh, waste any of the actual good weapon skills that the mobs will have. Like this guy should probably also be focusing on me. And so basically we play the waiting game. We try to take all the damage and not die, and we wait for Kabosh, and we wait for Foul Breath in this case. Can I hit him one more time? Yeah, that's right. Alright, so let's take this off. And uh, my fists are too strong, so we really do need to put a level 1 weapon on. The, the, the general hand-to-hand -hand fists are just way too strong. So if you're going to stay engaged, put the level 1 on. Solid. Okay, let's see. We probably need to lower the concurrence health a little bit. I think I can actually use a weapon skill at this level 1 and not kill it. I think it would have to be Gust Slash. Ah, wow, that was way too weak. Okay, well, Red Mage could have probably hit for double that. Not a problem. I think if we diagoned everything, it would be perfect. They would drain down to right around 10%, but I'll just keep poking away with this uh, dagger. See, Tromp Rush landed. That's a good sign. So Foul Breath should also land. There it is. Did I really evade that? Give me a break, dude. No way I evaded that. How did I evade that? What the fuck? He landed foul breath right there. Oh my god, this is tilting. Yeah, okay, okay. Alright. Well, that's what we have to deal with, guys. That's what we have to deal with. It's like, you don't understand, right? Somebody make a meme of this. This is ridiculous that I can have literally no gear on. Get hit by the ability, but not actually get the, the foul breath uh, and feeble like that it's supposed to give me. Rip. Okay, so this Kakur needs to go down to 10%, so I can poke him a few more times. A lot of these guys need to go down. I want them to be around 8 or 9% HP. Man, I really wish that I attacked faster than this, but I didn't get a dual wield sub, so I can't actually attack faster than this. I mean, the Scholar could haste me, though. Haste purse? Let's see if he actually gives me a haste. Dude, we have failed this event so many times you guys and you can see why it's very obvious like there's a problem there's a problem with the way that 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 we're trying to actually win this assault it's really just luck guys it really is random number generator praise the random lo number generator long enough and then you'll be able to actually have the luck required to win this content that's basically what it is. Alright, so that Gust Slash was solid. Chomp Rush is definitely not the weapon skill I wanted you to do. I suppose we could pull more mobs and try to double our chances of actually getting the right weapon skill, but you would think this is enough mobs to do what we're trying to do. And I'll show you guys a trick after we get these two enfeebles. The trick is to go to a Parago 
and just fight all the Paragos in the zone at the same time. Because Bio will typically always land, all right? And that's all you need from them is a Bio. So if you can pull all of the Paragos in the zone, then you're in business. Because they'll just fight you and try to nuke you and all you need is a bio effect. Let's see if he can actually do that while I'm fighting this stuff. Because if he can get the Paragos over here, we, we don't even have to worry about um, going to find them and running out of time. Because they are spread out and there's only two in like every corner of the map. So we would have to run across the whole map to find the Paragos. That would be no bueno. Alright. Let's get this Cocurrent down below 10. Now it seems like when I was spamming Diaga 1 and Diaga 2 last time I was here, I had a lot of success with giving them the TP that was required for them to weapon skill because I was getting spammed a lot when I did this. But I also had like 13 or 14 mobs on me. So I don't know how much TP they gain when you when you spam AoEs like Diaga. Uh, really uh, weak AoEs obviously. But I don't know if it will help so much. I do feel like this is probably the better way to go because they are doing their weapon skills reasonably like reasonably fast but you are racing the clock that's the thing like I think ideally they want the whole zone to be cleared by the time you run out of time and all of the mobs to have done multiple weapon skills by that time which requires like six people honestly like this content honestly would be best best one with like six people with two it's very tricky very very tricky almost impossible I think you can do it with one or two players but you've got to do something like this I would say bring blue mage though and probably dual wield level one weapons just for the uh, just for the multi-attack to allow you to actually feed more TP faster. And again, you have to make sure you're not wearing any subtle blow gear at all. Otherwise, you're wasting your time. So these guys should definitely be doing their weapon skills as soon as they have the TP because they're all really low. So they don't have very many more opportunities to do their weapon skills. So they should be spamming their weapon skills when they have the TP. The problem is I can't really give them the TP anymore because they're already really low. And he keeps using cut purse. I don't want you to use cut purse, dude. Try again. Deadeye is also not the one. We need a kibosh. Let's poke this other one. Oh, he's really low, actually. Alright, I can't poke him much more. He'll probably die in three more hits. Let's focus this other one. Kibosh is one of the more annoying abilities to actually get. It just wants to miss every single time. It's another Ripper Fang. Definitely not what we need. Okay, Kakurn. Now's your chance. Phase is definitely the wrong weapon skill, dude. That, that's a terror. I'm frozen with fear. 
Yep. Unfrozen. Alright, so maybe one more poke. Oh, I missed, actually. Maybe one more poke. Okay. One more after that, too. Because I was only at 12. Wow. There we go. Ooh, that crit, though. That crit almost killed him. Alright. So now we can work on the, uh, the Lendworms. I mean, Deadeye doesn't count, right? Yeah, I didn't think so. I think Mio's actually bringing us Paragos. Oh, you brought us leeches too? Oh, you did bring us Paragos. Okay. Let's focus on the Paragos then. Let the Cocurns and the, uh, the, the lizards just kind of hang out. Alright, so definitely they took my gear off. Watch out for that. Those Cocurns are able to actually take your gear off. So I probably want to grab my multi-hit gear again. Okay, so let's poke this guy with something that might hurt a bit, which nothing will hurt him since it's a level 1 weapon. And I don't really have a way to hurt him that much without putting gear on. I mean, we could try. I'm really lazy, and I don't want to put my gear on and take it back off again. So, I'll just do this. It should be... It would do way more damage if I had gear on, but... I guess we'll just play this game. I'll put on a bigger weapon for a little while. At least that way I don't have to switch so many other things. Let's just put this club on. It's 119. It's a warp cudgel. Okay. I can't hit him anymore, though. Hey, listen. Don't magic hammer me. Root. Alright, let's bonk this guy a few times. Oh, wait. Effect for me. Yep, that's right. I did get foul breathed. Good news. Disease, check. Even with aggro, you can actually get him. Like, you might have to spam it, because the event can get interrupted, but... Yeah. Turned in disease. Okay, next. Where's that other Parago? Are they both really weak? Am I just looking at both of them and not noticing it? I thought one was more than... 16. Yeah, that guy. 61. Definitely not 16. I don't think I can actually hit him with a weapon skill, though. I think he would go smush. Yeah, I'm just gonna have to not use this TP. That's fine. Actually, don't I have... Yeah! Well, my Scholar doesn't need any, any MP, but I can get MP. Yeah, that's right. That's right. <laughs> now you're playing Final Fantasy. Alright, so I have the bio effect as well. That's what I get from the Parago. So let me disengage. Turn in the bio effect. Bio check, okay. So we got that. So now we need, um, we need to kill... We need to kill some mobs. We need to kill some mobs and get them out of the way. So I'll put on my, uh, I'll put on my reading blade for this. That ought to be fun. So let's kill the frogs when we can target them. Gotta target them first, and then smash. All right. So that's one frog. Uh, I don't think we can kill the cocurns yet. Ooh. That's too bad. <laughs> okay, so we gotta kill the pit land worms.
trying to make sure my back's turned when I'm switching targets. Here we go. There we go. I'm really good at that, actually. Listen. I don't know who did that. But that's not allowed. We need one more in Feeble. We need one more in Feeble. One more. Which one is it gonna be? We have Bio, we have Disease. We could go get more Concurrents. I like that idea. Yeah, I like that idea. Let's go get more concurrence. Okay, so there's Kikurin over here. I know that much. I usually find the one along this wall, so... Let me see if I can sneak through. Need one more. One more effect. We could get that effect, actually. Let me flash this guy. Alright, we could bring those spiders. And I think I actually... Yeah, I already pulled these. That's right. I came over here at the start. Those were the cocoons we already killed. I remember now because we took the lindworms as well. So we need to go in another room, not lindworms. And I think these spiders are going to disengage, but that's fine. I'm not worried about that. Yeah, they, they disengaged. Well, let me let me pull them one more time. Okay, let's go holy. Okay, they're all coming. Okay. That's good. Good news. Alright. So there's the spiders. They can lose aggro here, that's totally fine. Uh, there are Paragos. Ooh, he already brought leeches, so I'm assuming that he brought the Paragos from that side. And we don't need Paragos anyway. We need Kakurn, so let's go this way. I think there are some on this side as well. Should be Bugards in this room. Yeah, Bugards. So we have to try to not aggro anything here. I mean, we could pull Bugards. It's not the end of the world if we some blue guards but looks like we're gonna pull at least one blue guard oh no one minute left guys this is why this is so hard we're gonna run out of time again we're gonna run out of time again so this is about what happens every time actually Every single time that I do this content, I, I do at least two Enfeebles, and then this happens. Yeah. Let me Circle Blade these guys right away. Maybe I'll get lucky within 30 seconds time. Probably not. Probably just lose here. Yeah, we're just losing here. Alright, well at least now you guys can see the trouble that you have to go through to get this done. I would say bring three people, but I'm not going to say it's impossible to do it with, with two people or with one person. So I'm going to go ahead and go back in and do it one more time. One more time. Because why... Why would it be impossible? I mean, it's just random weapon skills that get launched at you. So you just need to find the right ones within 30 minutes time. So the best way to do that is just pull them immediately and do what we were doing. I feel like there is no better way to do that. You might very well be able to cheat on some of them though. Like if you had a way to give bio effect to your player when he gets charmed, so you could fight frogs and they could do frog cheer or whatever it is and charm one of your players and then on that player you could put the enfeebles directly on him and then he could uncharm and turn them in technically that would work because bio is bio no matter how you got it so you could easily do bio that way uh man i don't know i don't know of a, a way 
to do more than just the bio effect though. Maybe Blue Mage has some that they can do. Hmm. That would be a most highly orchestrated, efficient way if we found three spells that actually worked. But I uh, I don't I don't know I don't know how to do that. So I can only dream. I can only dream that that's one way to win. Well, we're gonna try again. Damn it! Open up door. You can't stop me. No one can stop me. Nobody stops pones a lot. Never. Right. One more try, right? I think I'm feeling this one, you guys. I'm feeling like this is the one that we actually win the content on. That's what I think is going to happen here. I know when we go in, I'll have no mana, so I probably want to immediately... Uh, I probably want to immediately use my dagger weapon skill uh, because that will give me mana. So let's put daggers on when we zone in and our inventory loads. Yeah, let's put daggers on. Level 1 dagger. Actually, I think I don't have a level 119 dagger for this job. Oh well, let's put this dagger on. Alright, this is going to steal some mana. Okay, we can do this. We have we have a mission. It is to get three Enfeebles. Three Enfeebles. So let's do that. Let's get three Enfeebles. Definitely luck based. I mean, this assault's totally luck based. I feel like if we had four people, this we we would win every time. Honestly, I feel like that's a a rough like a good number of people to have. Four level ninety nine players could make short work of this, but two level ninety nine players, ooh, it gets rough, you guys. Definitely gets rough. All right, let me go ahead and just. Put some put some buffs on Phalanx. Alright, we probably also want Protect 5, but it's gonna be a minute. Alright, so lizards are pretty reliable. Foul Foul Breath does land. These Mamuljas are casting diagonal on me, they're being assholes. Okay. I'm gonna bring Kakurans as well. Let's go. Pull all these Kakurans. And I need to pull some Paragos as well. Yeah, that's what I thought. There's some Paragos over here. Okay. Let's go. Come on, mobs. Okay, let's go this way. Pull some Fragos. Okay, got the Fragos. Hey, stop stunning me. Not allowed. Not allowed, sir. Listen, I'm gonna take my mana here now while nobody's watching. Give me that mana. Come on, two more pokes. Yeah, that's right. I took my mana. Time to go. Nice job. Nice job failing on that bind. I do have the bio effect already, so let's go. I'll tell you guys a secret, though. I actually can't get bound right now. 
I have a special effect. Alright, so let's go turn in this bio. I don't want to lose aggro, so... Wait, wait up for the mobs. Okay. Alright, let's turn bio in. Event skip. See, that's what I was talking about. Still have to be patient. Bio is checked in. Alright. Kill my mule jaw. Hey, listen. I also know the Holy Two spell. Alright, so... It's your turn. I even know which one did it. It was this one. This one over here. You think you're hot shit. Eat my holy two. Bitch. Almost 800 damage. That's right. And that's naked. That's like I get up for, for breakfast and I get out of bed and I'm casting holy two in my underwear. That's what that is. And that's one shotting bitches. It's just straight up one shotting bitches. Maybe not you. But some bitch is getting one shot by that. Give me your mana. We're done talking. <laughs> Alright, so definitely want to kill these things faster. So I'm going to take this dagger off now that I got some MP. Let's put on our spiky club. Start bashing face with it. It's not hitting hard enough, you guys. We need a bigger spiky club. I think we have one somewhere. Here we go. We need, like, the Alpha Club. Dude, guys. That's a big spiky club. It hurts, too. 1769 damage. While naked. That's the beats, man. I mean, I think that was a double attack, though. With battle mod, it actually sums the double attacks and triple attacks up. Okay, I think it's time to drop some people's life. Hopefully this doesn't one-shot the whole zone. It didn't. That's really good. That was actually a good chunk. I can do that a couple more times and I'll be set. Yeah. Yeah, I'll just get the whole zone down to really low. Okay, I don't care if the Mamulja dies, so... Okay, so we've got lizards, we've got Kikurans, we need to actually get hit with Kibosh this time, and Foul Breath. Paladin has like a unique ability, I think it's a job trait that says to resist Enfeebles, so that, that probably procced that one time where he landed Foul Breath, and it didn't actually get put on my character. Yeah, resist Virus. I think this is actually a warrior trait. I'm not sure, but that's what it was. I couldn't get the virus because I have resist virus effect. So Foul Breath is probably gonna, gonna land on him before it lands on me. Probably should let him know. My paladin has resist virus, so can you fight some lizard, some raptors? Yeah. I feel like I might just keep resisting it, honestly. I mean, I don't want to discredit myself and say, oh, it happened once, it's not going to happen every time. What if it happens every time, you guys? We could be here for a long time before we discover that I could never get the disease from the zone. That would be unfortunate. Alright, maybe one more Earth Crusher. Oops, I definitely killed some of those. Okay, let's disengage. Disengage. <laughs> I don't want to kill anymore. Okay, let's kill this guy. I think I just killed the Raptors, though. So that's good, because I, like, I feel like I might just keep 
Oh, wait, that's the amnesia effect that I need, and it's only on me for like four more seconds. Come on, let's go. Let's go. Is that is that not the right one? Come on, come on. It didn't count, so it clearly wasn't the right one. Alright, Leech. I wish they would stop moving around me and stand still. I already have the bio effect, so we can kill the Parago. You took my staff off with Cut Purse, you motherfucker! <laughs> Did I forget to mention they do that, you guys? Guys, listen, listen. Sometimes, sometimes, you just have to go old school on them. Okay. My paladin has a great katana. Alright. He's also about to die. Just saying. Very close to death there. I could almost taste it. So, so let's heal up. Very important. Damn, these guys are like really hitting me hard. Mostly this Prago. Let me put flanks back on. Don't make me sentinel. I'll make you guys do flat zeros for three minutes. Let's go. I don't think I can do anything else. In light might be useful. Oh shit. Tachi Inpei, let's go. Tachi Inpei! Okay, it didn't do much damage there. Let's actually put on a good weapon. Let's put on Bird King. Let's glow for a while. Uh oh. Uh oh, Parago, you're dying quick. Uh oh. Guess what? You're dead. I'm gonna poke this Kikurin over here a few times. I think I can do one more hit on him, actually. It's actually working pretty good. Without the level 1 weapon. But we have enough targets here, because he actually pulled more. Let me just send all here in Rampart. I'm gonna pull the zone. Invincible as well. There we go. Alright. Just gonna keep switching targets, getting one auto attack on each of them, and kind of grinding them down from there. We don't need this many anyway, so if some of them die, that's just that's just how the cookie crumbles. I'm gonna circle blade. Can they handle my circle blade? Probably not. 3,000 circle blade? Yeah, that's gonna kill some bitches. Okay, I, kill, I had three casualties. That's not too bad, you guys. Hopefully by killing their brethren, I've enraged these mobs to the point where they actually spam their weapon skills and give me what I want. Or maybe they'll troll me and not actually do the right weapon skill for another 20 minutes. They could also just do that. They could run around in circles and never attack. <laughs> I'm gonna circle blade again. Face my wrath. Face my wrath, bitches. Alright, I don't want to kill this guy. They're all looking pretty low, you guys. Pretty low indeed. That leech can get hit a couple more times. I'm 
What's up, Leech? How's it going? Auto attack. Auto attack. All the auto attacks. Alrighty then. If I circle blade here, it's a big mistake. So let's actually not circle blade here. I don't have evasion on this, right? No, just a midi, okay. Okie dokie then. That's spider web. That's a slow. That counts. Alright, attack down. Not quite as slow. More like a bio effect. Attack down effect is like a bio effect. Okay, irrelevant. We got spider web, which means we can kill all spiders. Do we, where's our kill all spider spell? Square Enix, where is it? We need this. Kill only spiders. No, listen, Kakurn, what are you doing? Stop cutting in front of me while I'm trying to target a spider. Do you want to face my wrath right now? Alright, so that's two. We've gotten two. I think really all we're doing differently is pulling the whole zone this time and using a 119 sword. I think that that's the only thing that we're really doing differently. So... I'm glad he pulled, because it's really hard to pull the zone without losing aggro. Alright, so we still need leeches. Stop trying to cut in front of me, guys. I can't use Circle Blade because all those other targets are going to take a lot of damage. So I guess I'm stuck using, like, just Savage Blade. And he'll probably one-shot. Yeah, he died in one shot. Oh well. We have enough Bew Guards there. Way too many Bew Guards there, actually. Can't even see what's going on. So we turned in Bio, we turned in Attack Down. So if we see any spiders, they need to die. If we see any Paragos, they just need to die. Everything else is kind of just going to be able to YOLO for a little while. But some of them might face my Squirrely Wrath. And then... Is that copyrighted? Can I even say that? Banned! Okay, there's a spider. I see it. I see it. It's right there. A big yellow spider. Oh, I found him. He's targeted. Weapon skill. You're about to get nuked. Spider, what are you doing? Oh my god. Spider, you're trolling hard. Okay, listen. Guys, I just want the spider. Listen, all of you guys can go home tonight if you just let me take the spider. Just let me have the spider. Just stop moving, spider. Stand still. Stand still. Take the savage blade. Yes, that's right. Take the savage blade. Okay. What is this? Magic defense down? Let's see if this actually works. Probably not. No. It does not work. Okay, let's see if I can pull hate again. Sentinel or Ampart, let's go. Let me use my abilities. Okay, apparently they don't give a fuck. They're like, nope. Don't care, bro. I guess I'm just gonna have to individually pull them all off of him. I won't pull the Lindworms, though, because, like I said, I don't think that I can actually... I, 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 I know that their breath move is a cone attack, so I could still get hit with it, 
um, regardless, and it's ditto for him, but like, why even bother? If he's got the aggro, he's gonna get hit by the cone attack. Man, if only I had more mana. Guys, how are we going to solve this problem? Are we going to use our dagger again? Oops. I killed the Bugard, you guys. That's counterproductive. Alright, let's let's actually steal some mana. How are we gonna steal mana though? None of these mobs have mana. We could use a club! That's right! Clubs just make mana. They don't steal mana. Listen, 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 guys. I don't wanna fight. I don't wanna just give me the Bugard. Give me the guy with full health. Okay, I'll take the Lindworm. Psych, I don't want the Lindworm. I want the Pugard. Let's go, Pugard. That's right, I have a club with your name on it. Let's go, son. Let's go. You could be my son. I got drunk a few times. I made mistakes. All right, now we can use Moonlight. Let's use Moonlight with 3,000 TP. That's a better idea. That's a brilliant idea. Okay, so there's a Mamul job, but I don't think that... Actually, it doesn't matter if he has mana, does it? Because we're using Moonlight. So where is that warder? Come here. I'm gonna bash you into oblivion. With Moonlight. And it's gonna deal zero damage. And I'm gonna get mana back. I think you're a mage anyway. I can use my I can use my dagger and get more mana. Let's do that as well. All right. I think he's gonna be dead by the time I use moonlight. Let's maybe not kill him. Save him for later, guys. Okay, let's target this bugard instead. About to have that 3,000 damage Moonlight. Let's go. 3,000 million damages. Awful Eye is definitely the one. And I have it on my character. So we win. Guys, all you have to do to win this content is troll. That's it. That's all you have to do. You just have to troll hard. And then you win. Then, of course, you have to not get trolled and be able to target the uh, NPC at the end, and you're good. So, the best way to do that is just to run away. Just run away, guys. Guys, just run Just walk up to this guy and just walk up to the dude. Just walk up to him. Walk up to him and be like, yeah, there you go. And what's that, three right now? Do we win? I think we win. Guys, it's over. Guys! Guys, GG! GG, guys! It only took 48 hours of playtesting and a bit of trolling, and then we did it! Guys, we did it! We did it! Do I have an AoE I can use to kill all these bitches? I don't think I have an AoE club effect. Listen. If I don't have an AoE club effect, I'm just gonna have to put on my big spiky friend and have an AoE club effect, okay? That's the plan. You ready for this big spiky friend? Lua L Gear Swap. Yeah, that's right. Now I'll have more damage. I don't even know if I have this in my Lua, but whatever. Not relevant, bro. It's never relevant. Guys, I think I might legit be engaging with a twi- oh, I'm not engaging with anything. That's just the lock style, okay. All right, bam. Take the damage. Ponzalot spares no one. Face my wrath. It's ready. It's, it's for you. I put it in a little box this morning and put a bow on it. It's Ponzalot's Wrath. And it's all yours. 
All yours, Pit Landworm! Why are you still standing? <laughs> God damn it! Spiky friend, do something about his kneecaps! I think one more Earth Crusher might be enough. Might be enough to win the content. Yeah! The content's already won, you guys. It's already won. GG! Listen. Retribution. Bro. That's right. I've got skills. Yeah. Yeah. Done. Get wrecked. That's how you win the content, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you enjoyed this video demonstration of how to win against Azure Elements with a low man party. All right. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll be seeing you guys in my next video. Peace out.